Hey everyone, I wanted to do a haul video for you guys. Um, a lot of you have been requesting that and it's kind of funny because I filmed a video when I was back in college telling you guys it's going to be my last haul because they've been getting such a bad rap thinking that we're trying to like stimulate the economy or trying to like, um, you know, show products to you guys to make you buy anything, but that's not why I do hauls at all. But I mean, that video is going to go up in a little while so you can look at that. But I thought I would go ahead and do this haul for you guys. I haven't. I mean, though that video states that I'm not going to do any more hauls, it seems like all of you guys want me to. So let me know. Like, I don't want to have a bad reputation thinking that, making people think that I'm doing this to make you guys buy things because that's not it at all. I just want to show you guys what things I'm really liking just in case you guys, you know, are able to benefit from that. If you guys think that what I'm using is something that you guys can use, you know, whatever. I'm here to help you guys and I'm not here to make you buy anything that you don't want to buy at all. So, um, this haul is actually quite big. It's MAC and a lot of Sephora stuff and this is not anything that, this is stuff that I've been buying for the last month. It's not anything that I, I didn't just go out there one day and buy all of this stuff together because I, I mean, nobody has that kind of money. But the first product that I bought was a Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. This one is in medium dark and I've been liking the whole glowy skin look so that's really really pretty instead of a full out matte look with you know any loose powder or like a translucent loose powder like the Makeup Forever HD so I've kind of gone ahead and gotten this one and I'm really liking this. I have this on my face right now so I hope it looks more luminous as opposed to fully matte. Then I bought this product by NARS. It's, an, it's a single eyeshadow. It's called Galapagos and I don't know if you guys can see but it has a lot of golden glitter to it and it's really 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 pretty it's like high frost golden glitter and I just love the way it looks um, I have that on my lower lash line right now I don't know if you guys can see that but it just looks so so pretty it's kind of pricey but it's a product that's well worth it it's one of those rare products that when you put this on you actually can see the glitter it's not one of those things that just looks glittery in the box but doesn't end up looking that way in real life okay my next product that I just bought is a bronzing powder from MAC and this is the matte bronze, that's just what it's called and like the name, it's a matte bronze. So it has a little bit more pink than it does yellow to this and this looks a little bit more natural than um, the hourglass bronzer that I also have and the chocolate soleil from Too Faced so I'm quite liking this. This is what I've used to define my cheekbones today and I like the fact that it looks much more natural. So it gives you a more everyday look versus the versus um, a much more defined, you know, nighttime look. So I'm really liking that. It's pretty. And I didn't have one for my kit either. I always use Refined Golden, which had a little bit of shine. So I've been using this instead, and I'm really liking it. Next, I have a lip gloss from NARS called Chelsea Girls. I've shown this to you guys before, and I finally, that was just a sample, and I finally went ahead and bought this, and I really like it. It's, um... A pinky nude lip gloss and it looks really good in all skin types um, and skin colors so I put this on almost any nude lipstick that I like and it just makes for a really pretty color. That's what I have on right now as well. Then I bought a lip liner brush from MAC as opposed to like the small thin one I bought the like the slightly bigger faced one and this is the 231 and I really like this a lot of the times um, to get a more sheer wash of color to make things look more natural, lip liner brush is essential. If you put on the lipstick by itself, it can give you a really thick layer which doesn't look good on your skin. So this makes lipsticks a lot more wearable. Then I bought Makeup Forever's Smoky Lash Mascara. I love this. It is amazing. It's extra black and it does not give you, um, it doesn't lengthen your lashes. If that's your problem, I wouldn't go for this. But it really, really thickens them. So what I have on again right now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but... I'm really loving this. I would never normally spend so much on a mascara, but this product really delivers. Then I bought another under eye concealer. This is called the Eraser by Tarte, and this is in Golden Bisque 08. I don't know how many shades they have, but it's got one of these little brushes. I'm not a huge fan of these little pen brush things. I don't think, I think it's one of those things that just look pretty, but they're not exactly very functional. So I dab this on, but I always go on with my fingers and you know, go back and correct my eyes, but I really like this for every day. It really neutralizes dark circles. I don't really have major dark circles, but I, I get that like lighter look under my eyes with this, but this does not look good on camera, so don't get this if you need something that looks good on camera. This does not do that at all. Then I bought, I, okay, I'm actually going to get into this a little bit later. Then I got the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Tahoe. I was using NARS Sheer Matte um, all throughout the summer, and that was a great product, but 
I did lose my tan and then I became a shade lighter so instead of um, continuing with sheer matte I decided to get sheer glow and I've, I've been loving this it just looks so flawless it's what I have on right now it photographs beyond amazingly I, you know it's hard to find really good foundations that look good on camera and this really does however I don't like the packaging I don't really like this little thing right here I wish I had I had bought the little pump but you have to buy it separately and if you do buy that separately this foundation becomes fifty dollars you know with the foundation and the pump so it's expensive but it's a good foundation and I would recommend this to anybody I do have oily skin but paired with a good primer this foundation does look good and it doesn't become too oily if you use a good primer if you don't and you have oily skin this foundation is not for you you'll probably become oily in about an hour to hour and a half and you'll have to keep blotting your face so beware of that but I urge you guys to find the perfect primer for your face because the look of this is so pretty it looks really natural it looks luminous it doesn't look matte and dull and like flat so it gives your face some life which at least you know right now I'm really liking I don't know if you guys are but I love that then I bought quite a few lip products I bought a lipstick by Bobbi Brown called Heather Mauve you guys know that I use Heather Buff but this is Heather Mauve it's like a pinkier nude version of Heather Buff so it looks similar but it has a pinky um, pinkish mauveish undertone to it as opposed to um, a creamish brown undertone to that one but this is a good product as well then from one of the MAC collections I don't even keep up with them anymore because there's so many all the time I got um, a cream sheen glass and I really like these because they're really pigmented and they're not as sticky as the lip glosses so I hate like my hair sticking to my lip gloss it just it feels uncomfortable to me and so that's why I like these this is called on the scene and this also looks really good paired over a nude lipstick I know it looks coral over here and it does look coral in real life as well but when you put this on it does not look coral it looks more nude and I like that then I got myth lipstick which I never thought in a million years I could carry off as you guys can see it's so nude but this is one of those lipsticks that looks good in everybody's skin type however if you are really fair skinned, um, you, you can put this on by, by itself and wipe this, put this on with the lipstick and it looks great. However, if you're my skin color, use it with a lip liner brush like this to get a sheer wash of color and then that looks a lot more natural. If you put this on by itself, you will look ghostly and it's just not going to look good, but it's a good product to have. Then I have been in the search for the perfect red lipstick for me. I feel like a huge trend in the fall and winter is red lips, nude eye, the pinup girl look. Or even like sometimes even just dark eyes and dark lips looks really good in the whole fall to winter transition. So I actually got the Viva Glam 1. It's a brownish pink but it's matte and so it's a little bit more difficult to wear. It's not one of those lipsticks that everybody likes. It's actually one of the lipsticks that I feel like most people wouldn't like but it looks good on my skin. It looks amazing on fair skin. For me like my parents thought it was like hideous but I loved it. Um, it's a, you have to you have to have a lot of confidence to wear red lips otherwise you're not going to be able to carry it off and I don't know I really like this I think it's fun and it suits me but if you are darker than me I probably wouldn't go for this so if you are darker skin t um, skin tone try this one out this is another MAC lipstick this is called spice it up as you can tell it's also a reddish brown it's a little bit darker and it has some sheen to it so it doesn't look as like serious and like put together so this is a little bit more playful you can you know pair it with a nice lip liner of your choice and kind of darken it lighten it up whatever you want to. you can play with this a little bit more than you can with this matte lipsticks in general if you're not sure if the color you shouldn't wear they're difficult to take off and they are just like you put it on it's like BAM you know it, because it's matte like it doesn't have a shiny texture which makes for a much more formal look so yeah, these are the two red lipsticks. I'm quite liking both of them, though. And then, okay, so I have been loving metallic eyeliners. Just glitter eyeliners, metallic eyeliners, whatever. Just, like, a pop of color eyeliner. That's what I've done right now, too. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got, like, brown eyeshadow, like a brown smoky eye with um, a blue eyeliner. So I bought a few. This one is from the Metal Eyed Collection of Too Faced. This is called Dirt Bag, which is such a horrible name for an eyeliner, but it's extremely high frost. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me swatch this for you guys.
I haven't actually worn this yet. I just got this yesterday, but that's what it looks like. Extremely high frost. Very, very pretty. Then another one from the, um, the Metal Eyed collection, I got Twilight, which is actually the blue that I'm wearing right now, so you guys can see that. It's really pretty. I thought it would look really similar to Max Patrol Blue Eyeliner, but that one looks a lot darker than this one does. So I'm, I'm really liking this. I think it's really pretty. Then from the Feline collection of MAC, I picked up a few of these eyeliners. These are the Super Slick Liquid Eyeliners. And they are really similar to the original MAC um, Black Liquid Eyeliner. It's one of these little things. You twist it off and it's got the felt tip. It's a little bit easier. It's more easy to apply than the Too Faced Cosmetics one that I just showed you guys. This is, what is this called? This is called Marked for Glamour. I love the names, they're so cute. And that is what it looks like. It's the gray one. The longer swipe one right there. That's Marked for Glamour. And I, I wear this almost every day. It looks so good at any color eyeshadow that you wear. And it gives it a little bit of like a pop to your eye. Something a little bit different. Things that something that nobody would expect on a day to day basis. Then I got the silver one, which is called Nocturnal. And though I thought that silver, like, what is that going to look good with? It actually looks good with a black smoky eye. I just did a photo shoot this weekend, and I used this, and I loved it. That's the silver. It looked really, really good on a black smoky eye, because it gives it a little bit of a twist instead of having a darker black eyeliner, have a silver eyeliner, and it just changes the look up and looks really cool. Then I got the brown. This is called Defiantly Feline. And I love this one too. This is pretty for every day. That's what it looks like on the end right there, I think. Where is it? Yeah, on the end right here. It's really pretty. So I love these metallic eyeliners. They're not exactly glitter eyeliners. They have it's more of that like medley look, but it just looks so good. It gives you a little bit of a surprise. Like instead of going with a normal black eyeliner or brown or whatever you're used to, if you get that same color in a metallic eyeliner, it just adds a little bit of a pop, adds a little twist of fun, you know. So I'm really liking these. These are really really fun. I think that that's like my favorite thing this month. Like meaning this month meaning September. I've just been loving these. So that is my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and just a bunch of new things. Also, I'm going to put up another haul a little while ago. That was actually a haul that I, like, that video has products that I bought a few months ago. So, that'll be a little bit outdated, I suppose. And I think I might have, like, um, told you guys about Chelsea Girls in there as well. So, if I have, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye!